Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rico Richardson, and in this episode, we're going to address the RGB curve module. The RGB levels module is a powerful tool in which there are two options to choose from. The first one is the RGB link channels. This will allow you to set the black, the gray, and the white point. You can do so by picking any of these sliders and moving them from left to right. When moving the sliders for the black point in, you will see that the black point is being increased. The middle slider addresses the gray point of the image. When you move it to the left, the image will become more bright. When you move it to the right, it will become more dark and contrasty like. When you move the right slider in, you're moving the white point. The gray point moves parallel, but you can always move it back. Beneath the sliders are three options that you can use. The first one is to pick the black point from the image. The second one is to pick the gray point. And the third one is to pick the white point. Let me demonstrate to you how that works by picking the black point from the image. Now you see that the black point has started to shift and more contrast is being introduced into the image. In this video, I'm not going to bother with the auto options because in my personal experience, I didn't see them do anything. The preserved colors, however, is something I'd like to show you guys. I'm going to move the sliders of the gray point a little bit to the left and then I'm going to run through the options of the preserve color menu. That way you'll see the difference in effect. This video is sponsored by Gear Island. It's my second channel. I would love for you guys to check it out. Please click the link over here or over there and I'll put a link in the description down below. Now let's continue with the video. If you think the effect is too strong, just hit the uniformly button and change the opacity to the desired value. The second way to use the RGB levels module is to change the mode from RGB length to RGB independent channels. That allows you to access the red, green and blue values. Because this is a no time wasted video, I'm not going to address all three, but I'll demonstrate the red channel. When moving the black point inwards, blue will be introduced into the shadows. Same goes for the slider of the gray point. That will change the colors in the midtones. Move it to the left, red will be introduced into the midtones. Move it to the right, and blue will be introduced. With the white point slider, you will address the highlights. Move it to the left, will increase the red in the highlights. And that's it. I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to see more of me, please click that playlist over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking that button over there. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!